how to set up Google Workspace business emails. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Google Workspace. Now, Google Workspace can be accessible with a business email. So if you have a business email ready, then you can proceed with the business email. Or if you want, then you can proceed with your own personal email as well. This is totally up to you and how you want to get started with Google Workspace. So to get started, if you want, you can go into your business email and use that. But this is totally a personal preference. If you want, you can proceed with personal emails and I'll show you guys exactly how. So first off, head on over to workspace.google.com and click on get started. Once you click on get started, you're going to enter your business name and the number of employees that you have. So let's say it's just me and then your region and then click on next. Once you do that, you have to put in your first name, last name and your current email address. And then after that, you have two options. You can continue with your company address or continue with a gmail.com. Now, with a custom email address, you do have certain features like your own business domain. If you don't have one, you can search for domains over here. Let's say I want to search for Meraki and let's say I want to go for this one over here. You guys will see the pricing, the overall you know information, and you can proceed with the new business domain or you can enter your own domain as well. So if you have your own domain, I have Dardenne.store den.store i can click on next over here and then after that i'll click on next and then you are going to choose your setup on google workspace so i want to be jane at derden.store and then you can just enter a suitable password and then after that i'm going to proceed with the verification so we're going to enter bridges like this and then just click on verify Click on agree and continue to be able to access the Google Workspace. We're just going to proceed over here. And now over here, they're going to recommend a couple of different plans. So you get a 14 day free trial with any plan as well. So you can click on try for free over here. And then from here, you're just going to input your basic card information and business information. So I'm just going to do that and get back to you guys in one second. So just proceeding with the Google Workspace, I'm going to click on I understand over here and you will be welcomed to your new account. So from here, you can get started with setting up your admin console. You're going to click on next over here. And once you click on next over here, you will have your basic info. Just click on next and then you can protect your domain with the Google Workspace. And then you have some basic onboarding. So with our basic onboarding, you guys can see on the left, you have a directory, you have your store name, and you can just click on protect over here. And you can click on I'm ready to protect my domain and start protecting your domain with your Google Workspace. So you can click on sign in to verify. And then you can sign into your GoDaddy or whichever domain provider you're using to enable Google protection. So you're going to click on connect and then just click on connect over here. And after that, you are just going to proceed with the basic onboarding on Google. Now this will complete the verification of your domain. So I'm just going to let that be completed. Now, once you've completed your domain protection, you can add some users and then you can activate your Gmail account for your particular domain name. So you can click on activate over here and click on I'm ready to activate. And then you can activate Gmail for your particular domain name, which is going to be your own customized email address. So we're just going to let Gmail be activated over here. And I'm just going to let that be activated and I'm going to go ahead and be ready for the rest of my Google workspace. So I can go into the workspace on Google and I'll just go into my admin console like so. And we have our basic account. So we're just going to log into our account over here. And I can create new users if I want, but I'm just going to proceed with our verification. Now, this is going to be your complete Google Workspace setup. And as you guys can see, you can sign in with your account. I'm just going to sign in with my account once more. And now after that, you can also set up your confirmation for your privacy and security settings, but I'm going to leave it for now. And once you do that, you guys can see 
it will ask you to sign in with your administrative account. So for that, what you're going to do is we added Jane at derden.store. So that's the email address you're going to use. And then you can proceed with the password that you created. And then just click on next over here. Now you will see it will also give you some options to use it as a Chrome profile, but I'm just going to proceed anyways. But as you guys can see on the left from here, you can start setting up your basic directories. You have your users, groups, organizational units, buildings, and resources, which you can also manage. Then you also have your connected devices, applications. You can go into Google Workspace under this. And then from here, you can use all of the workspace tools. So I can go into the Google Workspace and you guys can see all users in this account have access to all of these applications. So I have my Google Calendar. I can click on that over here. And then once I click on the Google Calendar, you will see this has been turned on for everyone. And now I can proceed into my calendar. So I can go ahead and go into the Google Calendar over here as well as the Google Forms, Google Sites, and all of the other utilitary tools provided by Google. You can build organizational units that might not need access to certain things, and that can help you in making sure everything is going to remain organized. So if I don't want certain people to have access to Google Sites, maybe my financial accountants don't need access to that. So you can go into the Sites section and you have the status turned on for everyone. You can turn it off for everyone and make sure that only people with a certain level, administrative level, have access to that particular tool. And in this way, you can get started with the Google Workspace Manager. It's a pretty efficient tool to use when you're running a larger business. Plus, it can help you in managing your domain and your website as well. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. And if you have any specific topics that you look forward to, also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video